Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. Today's topic is music. And we have, I have Journey here and she's going to start us off. Um, we were watching the trailer for The Hobbit uh, yesterday and it looked really good. Check it out by the way if you're interested in uh, that in Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit and stuff. But um, the music in that trailer was really good. It was really nostalgic because they had the song that Tippin sang in the uh, in the last one, I think the last one, yeah. um, Return of the King in the background along with some other music and it just sounded really good and it got us thinking about uh, how music and soundtracks, movie soundtracks is a lot better, well music and movie and video game soundtracks is a lot better than like the mainstream actual sung music that you hear on the radio or whatever, however you would word that kind of music. I mean, you know, stuff by Taylor Swift and Beyonce and that kind of, that kind of music. Yeah. Um, I mean, I can only count on one hand how many artists I like today, and it's probably three or four that I can listen to because their music is good. Um, Kelly Car Clarkson, um, her first album was excellent, but I don't know anything about her other albums. But I enjoy listening to her first album. Um, what is that? One Republic. They have some good ones and Al City and I know there's another person I, I don't care, you know I can listen Adele. to but yeah Adele that's fine to listen to but most of them, the better music are the soundtrack music uh, I think there should be they need to stop with all these singers they have today and focus on people singing for soundtracks because uh, I believe it's no secret to most people uh, I can't say everyone, but it's not really a secret that music and the music industry today is about money. It's and about, looks. Yeah, it's looks. Money and looks. It's not really about talent anymore. No, it's not. Because I can name one. I can write a... Sh <laughs> I can uh, write a list of mile along with all the people that can't sing. And, and I mean, it's going to be some of your favorites that you like. And, and if you really sit back and listen, you'll be like, wow. They, these people can't sing. I mean, it's this is old news, but it, it's known. It was uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, people like Lil Wayne and Justin Bieber. I mean, they'll sometimes pretend like they can play guitar or something, but <laughs> they actually can't. I mean, you can watch them in videos, and they're just doing this and they look very confused by what whatever they're doing. And I can I do don't that. know why they would even try to pretend like they know how to play guitar. It only makes them look worse. Yeah. And uh, back a few years ago when Auto Tune was really big and it uh, kind of let people know that a lot of these people weren't do actually yeah. doing their singing. Exactly. I mean that auto tune really it's that, to me it sounds horrible. <laughs> it sounds like a synthesizer. I mean like if voice is being ugh, that's not singing. I mean, if that's all they're doing, I should be singing. <laughs> so it's um, the, I mean, uh, movie soundtracks. I can listen to them all day long, even if it's just instrumental. It really sounds nice. I mean, people go by blasting that rap music. I've heard a zillion times already because they're singing about the exact same thing over and over. There's nothing different about it. But people buy it like it's something new. <laughs> and those love songs that these other artists be singing about, little girl stuff, it's been done one billion times already. What? How much more do you want to hear that? I don't get it. It's uh, the soundtrack. You got different kinds of movies, so there's going to be different types of songs, and it's it's going to be a lot better than hearing about someone breaking up, and they're going to break up again and again and again and again. It's going to be almost the exact same song when it comes to these artists today. Uh, the difference between these these uh, new artists uh, that we're talking about and the people who make movie soundtracks is the people who make these soundtracks. They're they're trained. They uh, practice their craft for years. years, and they know what they're doing. They don't need. I mean, 
they work together as a team, of course, but they don't need all these people behind them trying to, like, make their image look good. I mean, they don't really even have an image. They're behind the scenes. And with that, they don't have to, like, ego doesn't really play a part in it. So they can just make good, mu good sounding music without, without, um, I don't know. I guess without an ego trip. Yeah. Because um, I know you're going to say that uh, like Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus grew up singing. They might have. But they're singing the same songs over and over and over again. The next album is going to be the exact same song. When it comes to soundtracks, you got different types of movies that's going to make it a lot different. But regular singers, their albums are going to sound the same. It's going to be the same exact stuff, just worded differently, a little different beat to it. But it's the same thing. And you're wasting a lot of money on the same thing. But when you can go out and get a movie soundtrack, and it's 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 more relaxing, and it's just it's a lot better. I wouldn't say it's relaxing. I think movie soundtracks. Well, orchestral music yeah, in general orchestra. can like better convey emotion without words. Any emotion, it can convey any emotion better than songs with words. Because oftentimes people will say this a lot. I don't know if they're really recognizing or uh, registering what they're saying, but they're uh, describing emotions that go without words. Like words, uh, emotions that can't be explained. And those kind of emotions are better conveyed with outwards yeah, with, music, uh, yeah. with just with just music I mean it's become so common to say things that phrases like words can't explain this feeling or stuff like that but it came from somewhere and it really means that words some feelings and emotions can't be explained with, with mere words and you need uh, the sound of music That's true. Like that. anything else uh, the, you guys feel the oh. same way? Uh, you have some? Uh, what's your favorite soundtrack? My favorite? I like uh, The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. I like more instrumental because I know there's talent behind it than, than most of the singing because not really anybody can sing but you know it's like you've heard it before. But I like instrumental better when it comes to soundtracks. Like the song River Flows in You by Urema, this isn't a soundtrack, it's just a song. Um, it has a really somber, but it's a very beautiful song, but a very somber tone. And that song is better listened to, in my opinion, than any other, any sad song with words, especially the ones that are going around today. <laughs> yeah. That is a beautiful song. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check it out. Um, have you ever played? Have you ever heard it? I don't think so. Well, I'm gonna have to listen to that. Um, so my favorite, oh, my favorite soundtrack. Well, I don't even have just one. Like I buy movie soundtracks all the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, The Lion King, <laughs> <laughs> How to Train Your Dragon, Lord of the Rings, Batman, uh, the Christopher Nolan trilogy, Batman, uh, Prince of Egypt. I can go on all day. Um, what else is there? Gotta get Super uh, Man of Steel. Man of Steel had a really good soundtrack. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, so um, many other yeah, there's just there's too many. But from video games, I'd say Super Mario Galaxy, Skyrim, Zelda. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of a different kind of. It's not orchestral, but. I enjoy chip tune and just video game, classic video game sound and music. Yeah. But that's getting to another subject, so I can touch probably stop. Oh, you're fine, but uh, yeah. Uh, but the, I did want to mention that yeah, if anything, if there's gonna be any kind of music, video games and soundtracks, that's it. So I want to know if you have anything else. It was not her. No. Okay. So if, I want to know if you guys feel the same way that you're tired of uh, the mainstream music and you rather hear more soundtracks and video game music. Let me know, comment, and if you like, 
like it and subscribe. Thanks for watching.